Kasi no, kan, bago, bago ko pa install kasi ito, pagdating kasi ng dry season, hirap na hirap kami magpatuyo ng palay. So, pamisan, aani kami 300, nabubulok lang, hindi, hindi siya madry dahil panakuntuyo sa ulan. Ing Ingana na yun, kaya labi pa huwag magka, magkadungan-dungan lagi. Gamay ang multipurpose pavement lugar ng bularanan. Maghulat ka ka nusa siya makauga. So, malagbit ikaw nga na ulah, muturok yun ang imong humay. Kaya ugma pa man ka makabulad sunod. Mike and Addy used to dry their paddy under the sun. Like millions of Asian farmers do. Sun drying is cheap and environment friendly, but it has its limitations. It is not possible during overcast days and at night and, with unpredictable weather these days, farmers are forced to store their grains longer and to delay drying. Sun drying is difficult, with more wet winds coming from intensified production, as more farmers harvest an additional rice crop during the wet season. The rise of combine harvesters that can harvest more paddies simultaneously in countries such as Cambodia has also made sun drying a challenge. It is labor intensive and requires manual stirring for grains to dry uniformly. Because the temperature is hard to control during sun drying, grains may crack and they will have low milling quality. Laid out in roads and exposed, sun dried grains are usually contaminated with dirt and stones. They can also be infested with fungi. These fungi can produce poisonous substances such as mycotoxins. Delayed, incomplete, or ineffective drying is the main reason for the deterioration of rice seed and grain. When paddy is harvested, its moisture content is usually at 20 to 25 percent. The quality of wet paddy worsens immediately after harvest. The wetter the grain, the faster the loss of quality. To prevent quality from deteriorating, paddy should be dried to 14% or less within 24 hours after harvest. One way to dry paddy but maintain high grain quality and reduce losses is by using mechanical dryers. An advanced type of mechanical dryer is a recirculating batch dryer, which is used in large rice mills and processors. However, this type of dryer is expensive because it has many moving parts that need to be serviced and it often uses expensive kerosene for heating the drying air. The simplest and most affordable type of mechanical dryer is the flatbed dryer. Because of its simple design, in which the drying air moves through the grain in one direction from bottom to top, there is an even drying, with faster drying happening at the air inlet. Dryer users can mix the grain halfway through drying to minimize the moisture difference. To address the problem of an even drying using the flatbed dryer, the Philippine Rice Research Institute, or Phil Rice, together with Nong Lam University in Vietnam, worked to construct a modified version of the flatbed dryer, the reversible airflow flatbed dryer. The reversible dryer has four main components. The drying bin, the reversible air chamber, the blower, and the furnace.
heated air from the furnace is sucked by the blower and forced through the grain mass. Once drying begins, heated air moves up, drying the grain and absorbing moisture. During this phase, there is slight over drying at the bottom and less drying at the top because the drying air absorbs water from the grain on its way up in the grain bulk and has less drying capacity when it reaches the upper layer. After two-thirds of the drying period, the direction of the heated air will be reversed, forcing the air down and drying the grains from the top going down. The wetter part on the top of the grain bulk is now dried more intensively and the bottom layer is dried less. The result is a more even moisture content across the grain bulk at the end of drying, leading to higher grain quality. In the Philippines, these dryers are now installed in Quirino, Nueva Ecija, and Bukidnon, and at fill rice stations in Isabela, Nueva Ecija, Los Baños, Negros, Agusan, Central Mindanao University, and Midsayap. Ang field rice, nagbibigay kami ng technical assistance doon sa mga interesado. Alimbawa, may mga farmers groups, irrigators associations na makapag uh, up ng capital uh, to establish uh, the dryer. Pwede kami mag-assist sa kanila. Bigyan namin sila ng plano, then i-assist namin sa construction ng dryer. Kasi may mga critical parts components and dryer. Through the Post-Harvest Learning Alliance initiated by the International Rice Research Institute and Phil Rice, farmers such as Mike Aquino and the Gamapaka Cooperative were able to install reversible airflow dryers in their communities. Now, they are reaping the benefits. Wala akong nasisirang no, katulad nung nakaraan. Wala akong nasirang isang kabampalay man. Wala. Tuyong-tuyo siya talaga lahat. Kasi bumabag yun man. Tuloy lang operation eh. Umu araw kahit na araw gabi umuulan, matutuyo yung palay. So, ang nakaayo kay ang bugas lugar niya mo, ragdako o recovery. Dako o recovery ang sa plat bed dryer kaysa ibulad sa adlaw. Hindi, unlike ng no mga ibang flatbed dryer na para amoy, amoy usok, amoy tinapa, masama lasa ng bigas. <laughs> ito, totoo. Hindi ko pinupuri ito. Eh, talagang pati yung mga, ano, yung mga komersyante, yung mga rice miller, gusto nila ito. Alaro amoy ang bigas. At maganda yung quality pa ng bigas. Unlike a traditional flatbed dryer, the reversible airflow dryer has a fly ash separator that prevents the ash from mixing with the grain, resulting in clean, smoke-free grains. Tanaw na to ang mga sa ako lugar, dako kayo nga nakita ko nga gakabag ko kini medyo nali nalisin lugar ba ang mga gasto lugar kibale sa farmers nga na buwan. Ay sa pang benefits, pagdating ng rainy season, marami akong nakukuha ng mga farmer or, uh, or yung mga komersyante na nakikipag-dry din nito. Uh, ibig sabihin, kumikita po rin ako ng additional income aside doon sa pag-produce pag ko ng seeds. Yun ang, yun ang benefits. Kumikita pa rin. 
sa flatbed. It hours naman na so, dry gabi eh, pagkabuntag, uga naman. Ma pagka kasi ma madali lang ang processing pagpapatuyo, makaka marami pang oras para doon sa ibang bagay na gawin. Pwede pa magdagdag ng ibang anak buhay. <laughs> Ganun ang nangyayari. May, may, may panahon para sa pamilya, may panahon para doon sa ibang anak buhay pa. Ganun siya. Farmer siya sa murag uh, sa akong tanaw. Uh, uban nga farmers nga wala pa maka sulay lugar ni ana at sila nga ah mo sulay ra gyud mi diha kay ingon ta nga mas maayo ingon sila nga mas maayo paganig madugangan unta kay aron daghan ta maka murag ingon nila maka dungan-dungan kay siya kulang ra mangani na karon labi labi na gig moabot ko noong ting ulan So itong reversible dryer, ito ay isang teknolohiya na kung maayos yung uh, paggamit, makakasiguro tayo na yung dried palay, dried body ay maganda mataas yung quality. So sana ay tangkilikin ito ng ating mga magsasaka, mga farmers groups natin, para naman yung ating rice production ay mas maganda yung quality for global competitiveness. No single technology can solve all the problems of rice drying, but a reversible dryer is an all-weather, low-labor option for producing better quality rice.